this idea. Instead of using chemicals and lawn fertilizer to get rid of ants in your yard, you just get an ant eater for like half a day and have it eat ants. Look what's back in, guys. You might remember this Tesla. This is the one where we did a bunch of bolts and stuff. We are installing unplugged coilover. I think this might be our first time actually recording us doing the. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. And this is the first time we're actually recording us doing the coilover kit from unplugged. Ooh, interesting color combo. Green springs and like a grayish blue spring. So in case you guys don't know the difference between springs versus coilovers, springs are a set height adjustment, meaning once you put the springs on, your car, your Model 3 is going to be that height. You can't change it. Whereas with coilovers, you're actually able to make adjustments with these little, uh, see these blue things I'm pointing at? We spin them and then they can compress and everything and they can actually adjust the height to a much greater range. So you can, you can lower it even more. You can really just fine tune it. But for most people, springs are enough. But if you just want to tweak it and just try different setups then you probably want the coilovers however these do cost a little bit more because of this ability to do that so I just gave you an idea right now this is sort of the the gap that we're working with so there's a pretty big gap so I'll show you what it looks like once we have everything installed and that way we can see it before and after Not too low, not too high, just like a good balance. We don't want to go too low because we weren't trying to go for that look. And plus, this is the daily driver. There's just a little bit of a gap, which is what we're looking for. And unfortunately, though, you don't see the cool colors from the springs and the coils. But then again, it's not about the aesthetics, right? It's about the performance, the handling, the lower center of gravity, the stiffer suspension, all that good stuff. And that's what we're going to be getting. And that's the great thing about these coilovers is that we may stay at this height for now. But if we want to tinker with it and adjust it and tweak it some more, we can raise the front, lower the back. So here's a measuring stick of the front and the rear. The coilovers did come with a pre-adjusted height. However, when we installed it, we thought that the fronts were a little too low for our liking. So we actually raised the front up from the pre-configured specs. Overall, we like this height a lot more. It looks way more even. So we're really happy with that. Yeah. FI exhaust. Ooh. Stainless steel. Okay. Dude, that is so shiny. Wow. I know, that, I kept on saying that like five times. Porsche Carrera 901.2 S. Ooh, I didn't know the gauges were freaking red. That's sick. Red seatbelt? Okay, there's some nice little red accents here and there. Oh, interesting. You know what that is, Sean? I do, actually. What is it? Wow, what a change, guys. We're going from that exhaust to this exhaust. I mean, just aesthetically looking, how much better is this? This is also a lot lighter, too, than the factory exhaust. So we have the exhaust slightly on right now. We're still tweaking it, adding some more extra pipes, because obviously there's something missing here. Get it on nice and shiny so it can really just shine in the, in the daylight. Indeed. Well, actually, it won't really because it's underneath the car, so it won't really shine. But, you know, it's the effort. It's the thought. Mm -hmm. So this is a Valtronic exhaust, meaning it has remotes. Uh, let me show you. Oh, nice. Whoa, they changed the remote. It looks good. This is a Valtronic exhaust, so that means that it has an on-off button, meaning you can get louder or quieter, which is great because sometimes you just want to have it quiet if you're driving through the neighborhood at night or something. So this remote is for that. This is really freaking nice. The old ones were kind of plasticky. This is amazing. Guys, we just got finished up with the exhaust installation on this Carrera S. It sounds freaking amazing. Let me show you what it sounds like. <laughs> Wow. 
And here's a close up of the exhaust, FI rent up top. The sound is insane. A lot throatier, definitely is meaner now. And then after we're done with everything, we also coat the entire car with a graphene coating. So that's why it shines the way it does right now. Super glossy, especially on black paint. It looks like it's just got wax. We have another Tesla Model X wrap project. <laughs> hey, wait, what color are we gonna do? I'm gonna show you. We've done this color before on a Range Rover, but now we're doing it on Model X. Matte green. Isn't this cool? Oh boy. All the chrome is going away as well. Uh, we've got the trim taken off. We're getting ready to do, of course, the initial process of just removing trim pieces, uh, prepping the panels, and getting ready for the wrap transformation. If you're getting a new car and you're trying to decide what color to get and you know you're going to vinyl wrap it, consider getting a black one just because any color you vinyl wrap over a black car is going to be a lot less obvious than like on a blue car or a red car. Oh, the first piece is laid, guys. And dude, I could tell, Ray, this is going to be a sick freaking project. Model X is really moving along right now. Isn't this color amazing, Sean? I hate all cars. But this car. I hate all cars, bro. But not this all one. It's Matt Green. You can't hate Matt Green. I hate Matt Green, bro. Matt Green's cool. Take that back. Car to you? It's a street legal car. Street legal car's not Sean. real. Sean! It, it has a... If it's street legal, it's not a it race has car. A, what is it called? If it is street legal, it's, it's not a race car. car. It's an RX-7. That's a race car. Outside, man. Dude, but the way this thing drives, it should be a race car. It just feels right. Dude, that looks a lot better. That is cool. That looks good. Way better. Yeah, right? Yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. He really just goes against everything we would like, and he's just like, no, he's like. I believe this is how Tesla, when they first announced like the Model 3, and they did the door handles, it was the same color as like the door panels. Talk about that angle, hey, will you ever? Talk about that angle. It's not precision. Okay. Ah. Listen, negative too. Why is it negative? Because not a lot of people get to Ah, the dark scrolls. The dark scrolls. They don't really exist, but they exist. It's like dark magic, you know? The dark scrolls. Dark scrolls. And here it is, matte military green. The first Tesla we've done in this really cool color. It just makes the car look so mean. It gives it so much more edge, you know? Because the car is really soft and round, so it definitely makes it more balanced. The matte finish really accents the body lines, especially around the doors, the fenders, and the front bumper. And it also emphasizes the lights, since everything in the car is either matte or satin, so the lights really kind of just pop out. And like usual, we took apart the trims to wrap the vinyl underneath, like on the doors, and that way you don't see where the film stops and starts. It just looks seamless seamless and clean. All the chrome pieces got converted to satin black either through paint or wrap depending on the piece itself. It's the perfect complementing color for the green for sure. It all blends in really well and it doesn't detract from the overall look. And of course we couldn't do all this and not tint the window so every window is tinted 70% on the front, 30% on the sides and the back for the ultimate heat projection that you can buy. Last but not least, the wrap is graphene coated to help with the maintenance, especially since this is a daily driver, it's gonna make a big difference. Let me know what you think of the project, I'm a big fan of green so this one definitely is one of my favorite projects thus far.
Alright guys, that's it for the vlog. We're also doing some specials right now on some vinyl wraps, so if you want to get your car wrapped in a cool color, here are just some of the colors we have. We have a lot more. Let us know that you saw this video and that you're interested in getting a wrap done to get the special pricing. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.